All right, so we're starting a design challenge series, and this is aimed at designers and graphic artists and artists and just anyone that find themselves in the creative industry or the design industry um, and specifically have real world challenges tied in. So uh, these are challenges that if you work in the industry already, you have probably come across these before, or if you're trying to get into the industry um, as a career, these are uh, challenges that you, that you will run into. And hopefully each one of these will kind of give you some experience and some uh, uh, figure out solutions and ways to uh, to solve these problems once you once you run into them and you will <laughs> So these are based on things that I run into on a daily basis and they're going to be kind of tailored towards that But also if you just want something to do um, It'd be a great way to uh, to get in and just have something creative to uh, to do if you're bored um, The uh, the frequency of these challenges will probably do at least once a month Maybe every couple weeks it really depends on kind of the complexity and overall time we need in between each challenge um, to do this again, it's a challenge. It's not a competition. So if you there's no like uh, big winner or anything, these are just something to do um, and to share with each other. So I hope you get involved. I hope you uh, have some fun with it and uh, hopefully learn something along the way. If you if you run into these challenges and, and other challenges, please get in touch with me and let me know what challenges you run into, um, and maybe, maybe we can turn that into a challenge down the road. And uh, if you ever if you have different solutions for any of these challenges, please share and uh, and get in touch, and uh, we'll just get a dialogue going. So each of these challenges, the video will, will have a uh, the challenge in video will have a dedicated page on my website. So the website will have the uh, the video, a description, and uh, kind of set of requirements of the challenge, and, and links to other resources if there if there is any specific to the challenge. Um, and then below that will be a form, and the form will be a way for you guys to submit your finished artwork. Uh, to me and which I will then turn around and put it right back on that page so as you're going down the page you'll see the challenge and you'll start seeing uh, what what people came up with and then below that will be comments and where we will have um, just some some dialogue and constructive criticism and if it's not constructive I will delete it <laughs> so hopefully it'll be you know a, a good fairground place for for all of us to uh, to chat about the designs that we see and, and see how people solved it, uh, solve these challenges, and, and hopefully everybody can, can learn something along the way. Um, so that's kind of the, uh, the, the way the format will be. Uh, the, the form also has, uh, it asks for your name and website and all that stuff. That's just ways so I can link um, back to you if you want. So if you don't want me to link back to you, um, just let me know in, in the form when you submit the artwork. But uh, each, uh, each submission will have a link back to uh, um, wherever you want so that's kind of an incentive to uh, maybe drive some more traffic to uh, to wherever you want it to go um, so that being said that's kind of how I see this whole thing going we're you know we're just kind of playing this by ear as the first time out so um, yeah so let's get into the first challenge so you're probably looking at my screen wondering what you're looking at and if you haven't seen this before this is a YouTube uh, banner template that I created whenever the last switch was so like six months ago or something um, this template is linked in the description below and in the uh, the the requirements below if you want to use this as a, as a resource you can definitely grab this um, it's Photoshop format and uh, PNG format download it um, and you can build your banner on top of it so that's the first challenge is to build a YouTube banner but we haven't gotten to the challenge part yet <laughs> um, so when you're building your YouTube banner the first part of this challenge is that it has to communicate what the uh, the channel content is efficiently, quickly, and uh, hopefully very pleasing to the eyeball. Um, if you imagine a user when they get to a, a a YouTube channel, they're scrolling already, right? So they're usually scrolling down the page trying to get to the video content. Um, so this banner is you have you have a very short amount of time that that usually the user will see it. So as they're scrolling down, it's you know leaving the browser window. Um, so you want to make a really effective, um, straight to the point banner that communicates what that channel content is. Um, so imagine it's a client of, uh, that that has come to you saying, "We need channel art. Um, can you make something?" You know, you want to make something that's both attention grabbing but really illustrates what what the the person is going to be watching if they just land on that channel. Um, so that's the first part. The uh, the requirements for that though is that the channel can be either totally fictional. You can just make something up. Give it you know it can be its own channel name. It can be your channel. It can be an established channel already. Um, but it has to be uh, it has to just 
communicate what that channel is quickly and effectively. So that's kind of the first part of the challenge. Now the second part of the challenge is uh, kind of the harder part of the challenge and it might be kind of, for, for some of you, you designers getting into this, might be kind of a tough habit to get into. Um, it has to do with the artwork. So the uh, we're gonna be really looking at the artwork on this one. The artwork that you use to, to communicate, uh, for the design to communicate what the channel is, has to be all yours. So you can't just go to a search engine and start grabbing photos that you like um, because you can't do that in the industry. That's all copywritten stuff that's owned by the photographer or owned by the person uh, that shot it. So all of the f either photography you use or art you use has to be something you created. So you can either grab your camera phone and go out and shoot something. Um, you can draw something. You can create some abstract artwork. Uh, but again, even if you're doing abstract artwork, maybe you're running a bunch of Photoshop filters on an image, that image has to be yours. So it has to be a photo you either shot, um, a texture you shot, a, uh, uh, a drawing that you did. It has to be, it has to start out yours. And that's the main kind of challenge of this whole thing. Because um, I see this a lot going around uh, just across the web. People are just real quick to just grab content off other sites. And you don't own that. You don't, if you don't have permission for it, um, you can't use that so the uh, this is something that you're gonna run into a lot if you're doing this as a job um, so a lot of when when you do run into projects like this in the industry sometimes clients but usually clients will, will give you photography to use and maybe we'll do something like that as a different challenge down the road but in this in this challenge you're you're, you're you need to create a, a YouTube banner and the client has no assets they have no they have no creative assets to share with you except maybe you know maybe they have a logo or a name and you have to like come up with everything else and that's a pretty big challenge actually so um, grab a camera shoot your own stuff if you want to shoot textures textures are all around you um, grab a camera and you know if you want a metal texture say you, you're, you're, you're creating a, a banner um, that has to do with I don't know welding or something uh, Go look in your kitchen. Go look in your garage. Take your camera and shoot old pots and pans and get textures out of them. You can you, textures are all over the place. It's not it's not terribly difficult to go get a texture. Um, you know, maybe you want to do a golf site. Maybe it's golfing videos. Uh, you're around a lawn, grass, <laughs> astroturf. Go out and shoot a nice photo of it. You know, um, and then use that in your artwork and, and and build build your your golf channel around the photos you shoot. Um, so. It's really once you start thinking about oh I can you know I'll just go out and I'll shoot this and then I can build a channel around that that might be a better way to tackle this one if you have photos already that you've shot uh, maybe you want to start your own blogging channel you can use photos of yourself it doesn't you know as long as you have um, the the you shot or created those that artwork it's all fair game other than that. Um, can't use it in this challenge and I've been around the block if you try to sneak something by me <laughs> believe me I think I've seen almost every single stock photo in stock photography sites and uh, I'll know <laughs> so uh, please that's part that's the big part of this challenge though is to actually go out and do it yourself all right you got to get into that mode of you know I have to complete this project this is what I have to work with I got to figure it out so that's a real world challenge that you're going to run into. Now, when you're doing like a logo or maybe text in the middle, we're going to be a little lenient on that. You don't need to own the fonts. Um, so you can go and, and grab free fonts that you like if you want to build a, a logo around or something, or you can, um, you know, better yet, draw your logo or something. But you, you can you can use free fonts. Those are fair game. Um, in the real world, though, you have to usually a free font is free for just per, for for personal use. It's not free for commercial use. So if a client was coming to you to build a banner and used a font that you grabbed for free, and didn't check the 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 disclaimer on it it probably says you know you owe me 20 bucks or something for uh, for using this for commercial use so um, we won't be a, a stickler on that for, for this challenge but we might do that down the road um, if it if we have a challenge where that ties into somehow um, so fonts are fair game but artwork definitely not um, artwork has to be all completely sourced your own the banner needs to the art needs to communicate the uh, the channel content and that's the challenge. So it's kind of a, if you're, if you're not into this habit, it can be kind of a tough challenge. Um, but I really hope you try it out. And especially if you want to, if you're trying to become a designer and do this as a career, this is a challenge that you probably should tackle. You probably should say, all right, let's figure this out. Let's create this channel art. Um, 
let's do it and say that you know you can give this you would be able to give this channel art to a client and know that they own that that all the rights are there right all the permissions are there um, and there's no worries so um, that's the whole kind of real world goal in this situation so um, I've been talking for way too long it's already been 10 minutes but let me just show you kind of a quick um, example so I shot this photo of Morro Rock and it's a uh, it's this big rock that's right off the shoreline in Morro Bay, California, and they have it's this cool rock. It's it's very unique, uh, very iconic of, of the shoreline there. Um, so I shot this photo, and this uh, photo looked pretty cool. And I thought, hey, you know, we could turn this in, into kind of like a, a mountain climbing adventure um, type channel, which is kind of funny because it's totally illegal to climb Morro Rock. <laughs> but it's just a photo, right? So we're gonna say let's turn this into something like this so this would be a banner art um, or channel art for an adventure video site you know for for california so you can hike climb explore and these would be um, adventure videos of probably mountain climbers and hikers and show trails and stuff all based in california but it's real quick it's to the point it's effective you know what you're getting into when you're scrolling down the page and you see this banner float up to the top so that's kind of what i want to see on the the outcome of this channel but again uh, don't don't just say okay I'm gonna go shoot you know rocks and stuff no think of your own thing come on have some fun and, and really challenge yourself into creating a, a banner that you have the the, the, the complete artistic rights to um, and that is is outside of the fonts 99.9 percent .9 yours <laughs> so and if you use paid fonts and stuff that you have the the rights to use or the the license to use then more power to you that's really cool that's something that is is completely a uh, a finished product um, that you could ship to a client so that's the challenge everything is below in the description I hope you get involved I hope you uh, get some 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 uh, ideas out of this and this is gonna be if you want to do this as a career or if you already do this as a career this is a challenge that you would run into daily uh, weekly every project it doesn't you never know um, so get into the habit of this take Google images and delete that bookmark <laughs> do your own stuff um, for this one maybe down the road we'll do one where you can source photos you know if you want to use stock photography and stuff we'll see what we can do um, but for this one it has to be all photos you shot so even freebie stock texture sites let's not use those for this one let's really focus on kind of that do-it-yourself mentality and this is you know you need to get this solved this this project done so imagine it's a deadline from a client you know what are you gonna do how are you gonna handle it how are you gonna tackle it so that's the challenge for this one uh, again once you're done submit the videos through, or submit the uh, the artwork through that form also if you uh, if you do record the process uh, maybe I can link that up somehow as well um, I don't know if you can do response videos anymore on YouTube but if you can you know I would do that but uh, maybe we can link back to your videos as well if you do kind of a, a process a time-lapse process or speed art of, of that uh, that banner so all right have some fun go to town and uh, let's see what you come up with and I'll start brewing up ideas for challenge number two all right take care